Bora Dara Croiso, good morning and welcome to the Centre for Trials Research Stakeholder event. My name is Karen Holford and I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor at Cardiff University. I'm extremely happy to introduce one of the teams at Cardiff University who are doing incredible work to help us all, including work specific to the pandemic, which has dominated our lives over the last few months, as well as studies which are ultimately designed to increase our knowledge and in so doing, inform policy and practice. One of the earliest proponents of the idea of evidence-based medicine, and specifically the randomised controlled trial, was an enlightened doctor who spent a large part of his working life in Wales, Archie Cochrane. Archie dedicated his life to the idea of evidence-based medicine, and the basic principle pioneered of the randomised controlled trial continues to inspire the work we do today. Actually, Archie led a rather colourful life. During the Second World War, he was captured and worked as a medic in a prisoner of war camp. His personal experiences in the camps led him to believe that much of the medicine, much of medicine did not have sufficient evidence to justify its use. In 1948, he joined the Medical Research Council's uh, pneumoconiosis unit at Landau, Landau Hospital, a part of the Welsh National School of Medicine, now Cardiff University School of Medicine. Here, he began a series of studies on the health of the population of Ronda Fa, studies which led the way in widening the use of randomised controlled trials. And in 1972, Archie Cochrane pu published Effectiveness and Efficiency, which described the lack of controlled trials supporting many practices that had previously been assumed to be effective. As you'll hear today, Building on those principles is a key part of the centre's work with more efficient ways emerging of conducting clinical trials and novel designs provide an exciting glimpse of what is possible. The research of the centre goes way beyond drugs and medicine to embrace learning and teaching for people with disabilities, the older person, consenting care homes, Huntington's disease and supporting the first ever randomised controlled trial in the UK with rough sleepers. Their work aims to include all areas of the population. The Centre for Trials Research at Cardiff University is funded by Welsh Government through the Health and Care Research Wales and Cancer Research UK and is one of the largest registered clinical trials units in the UK with over 160 staff. Their expertise and infrastructure supports chief investigators to navigate the complexities of red tape and produce high quality work all the way to publication work that can inform policy and practice. Today, we want to celebrate that research life cycle and the people who are involved in it. There are four sessions and you are welcome to attend any or drop in and out as you wish. Each session runs for an hour, 30 minutes with two or three experts presenting about their expert area of expertise, then opening up for a panel discussion. You can add questions to chat at any time and the team in the background will do their best to field as many questions as they get time for. We will also be sharing updates throughout the day on Twitter with the hashtag, and wait for it, this is a long hashtag, hashtag Centre for Trials Research Event 2020. The first session today discusses inclusivity, taking research com to communities, locations and populations where it has not been traditionally undertaken. Instead of people being defined as hard to reach, researchers have recognised that our systems and processes can be changed or adapted to make what we do more inclusive and reduce research exclusion. In session two, novel designs, you will discover leading edge ideas on how to best design a trial to answer the primary scientific question. Novel designs challenge the way of working by adding adaptivity to a design. Session three looks at efficiency in trial design and delivery. Clinical trials are widely considered to be the gold standard in evaluation health, evaluating health and social care interventions. Historically, however, the scientific and evidence-based principles applied to the design of trials have not been considered in the same way for their conduct. In our final session today, maximising the use of existing data, you will learn about data that already exists and how that can be used again to answer important research questions. So from Cardiff University and the Centre for Trials Research, I want to thank you all for joining us today and wish you a fascinating day of adventure, inspiration and discovery as you learn about the exciting and innovating work with, with the Centre for Trials Research and celebrate with the wider community that both supports work and benefits from this work. Jochen Vauer, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Karen. That was really, really useful and a lovely introduction um, to us. Um, 
I'm going to now, uh, so for those who don't know me, I'm Kerry Hood. I direct the Centre for Trials Research and I'm just going to pick up a little bit more on introductions um, in order to, um, to move us forward into our first session. The first thing I wanted to do and I'm going to attempt to share a screen um, and uh, I will ask you all to bear with me on the fact that this is a, um, is a uh, new uh, process for me to be presenting through such a medium um, on a laptop that's already rebooted itself twice today <laughs> and it's only five past ten. Um, if I can't share a screen I'll do it verbally. Um, so um, the, the key I wanted to reflect on for us today is although Cardiff has a very long history that Karen just uh, talked to us about in terms of its uh, clinical evaluations and evidence production. The centre itself is actually only five years old. Um, we were created in 2015 um, and I was appointed to create it um, then, although we were bringing together three disparate groups who had previously worked for a considerable time um, across the area. Um, through this, we have created this centre, which is, um, as Karen said, of about 160 staff, um, and it's structured around four divisions. So we work within cancer, we work within infection, inflammation and immunity, we work within mind, brain and neuroscience, and we work within population health. And really our population health work extends through to um, social care and the dealing with homelessness and those sorts of things. Um, over that time, we've established and developed considerable um, expertise in um, novel designs, as indicated. And, and we've just over the last year been planning our five year strategy going ahead. So today you'll hear some exciting things we've done, but hopefully also some sense of where we're going for the future. And the four themes we've de defined are the ones that cut across all four of those clinical areas we work in. Um, the three of um, efficiency in trials, maximizing use of existing data and novel designs, but also a kind of core underpinning value, which is the, um, the fact that we want to produce evidence for all. And that is why that is our first session for today. Um, and um, acknowledging the fact that again, building on famous clinicians who develop their thinking and ways of working in Wales. Julian Tudor Hart uh, wrote a seminal paper back in 1971 um, on, um, on something called the inverse care law, which said that the availability of care was inversely proportional to the need. And unfortunately, we sometimes find that in research, that there is more research available um, in certain groups of our population than others and really having a key drive to change that is an underpinning um, value of what we do and trying to produce evidence for the whole of Wales. So I'm going to stop in terms of my talking there because I think there's lots of other people to talk and lots of other interesting things to talk about um, um, but first up I'd like to introduce um, a recorded message from our Minister of Health and Social Care Vaughan Gethin. Thank you. <laughs> 